my treasures. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much. Make sure you leave a comment, too. We love to hear what you guys think. Okay, I figure we go over some of Foodie Beauty's latest community post. This one was, it says, from 15, 16 hours ago. Hi, she says. I write this not in defense, but more in an educational way of sorts regarding real Muslim and cultural forms of public affection. Muslims typically do not show public display of affection. In the West and for non-Muslims, we are accustomed to seeing people literally making out on the streets. Here, it is highly frowned upon, and honestly, I have never seen it while being here, and in some cases can lead to a fine or more. The forehead kiss is used as a form of modest expression for affection and deep love for someone. You would not do this gesture just for anyone, so I help. So I hope this helps to explain that the gesture does not signify a lack of love, but actually the opposite. And I sincerely hope that someday everyone gets to experience true love like this. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Four hours ago, Foodie Beauty Community Post says, Reaction Channels... Let's all sit around and do nothing and wait for Foodie Beauty to work on her content and upload. So she does. She works on her content before she uploads. Okay, can someone tell me exactly how it is fair for me to do a simple video, a simple vlog, a simple stream, talking with my own community, only to have, quotation, and this is no exaggeration, in quotation, at least 10 or more reactors, quotation, super lazy reacting, if you can call it that, in quotation, go, on a live with their community immediately or soon after I post, question mark. The problem is that their community is built on my content or on hate for me. It gives people who do not want to give me the views, quotation mark, for my own content, in quotation, a place to go and watch and hate. Again, my content. If you do not like me or my content, then you should simply not watch. I am writing this because I search YouTube and even Amber Lynn reactors are not lazy and don't usually quotation maybe sometimes in quotation use their entire video in a two or three hour live stream it's not fair for one creator quotation me in quotation to make something for my viewers only to have it stolen immediately after I lose many views this way, and yes, it is a problem that any creator would dislike. Imagine if it was you. I have seen creators copy strike people for way less. Honestly, just sniping my stream and adding in derogatory or even nice comment about something so pretty and trivial is just not a fair reaction. It makes me not even want to put any effort into doing anything youtubers are not copyright protected quotation the process is very hard and expensive in quotation but imagine an author for example just finished writing a book the minute they put it out someone starts streaming and reading the entire thing no what should happen is that the critic reads the book then makes a non-lazy summary of points worth criticizing. You don't just use someone else's content to build a community and discuss a 10-minute video over three hours. I don't know how people don't think this will affect me or my livelihood or don't care. It really makes it hardly worth it for me to make content. 
to go through any effort to make videos or put myself out there only for others to reap the benefits behind a computer screen. It's because no one would watch these reactors unless they capture it right away. But that's not true because some reactors take the time to make a thoughtful reaction and don't simply steal every single piece of content I put out immediately after. I hope someday YouTube changes the terms of service, but I am seriously considering another platform. People subscribe to me here as Beezers, and if you really want to watch, you can subscribe on TikTok for the same price. I'd like to try and build a community elsewhere out of the reach of so many grabby hands. Grubby, not grabby. Sorry. There are also new people who follow me each day over there, and I could play music. Regardless of your excuse of why you watch on reaction channels, because it is a free and etc., it's still wrong and it's still stealing views. And really, if I do leave this platform, you will have nothing at all. Okay, well, I get that, but you know what? I don't see Foodie Beauty ever leaving YouTube because that's where she gets her money from, right? Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And then we have Foodie with one of the stray cats. Is she laying down? I don't know what she's doing. Is that a stray cat? I don't know. All right, let's read got to clear my throat on this one. Oh my goodness, really? Wow. Foodie Beauty one hour ago. All right. I've had enough. If reaction channels are so interesting on their own, good luck vlogging because I'm out of here. Or good luck picking apart my past. Also, when I do get back to Canada, I will be pursuing a defamation case against a certain vile dump truck as well as emotional damages just wait for what animal abuse allegations which are a hundred percent false animal control came three times and reported no neglect or abuse period your chin literally shakes when you talk and you have the nerve to body shame anyone you mainly manly pillowcase. Hmm. Okay, then. For years, all of you have been a part of mine and my cat's lives. You saw how much I love them. You also saw how my mental was on and off, good and bad. I have never abused my animals. The cat's nails was not intentional neglect. Google and elderly cat's nails. Sam's were fine. If I abused and starved my cats, animal control would have taken them. Three times they came to our home. Do I need to produce their records? Saying I starved my cats is defamation, and every penny you made exploiting my cat will come back when I sue the raggedy Adidas shirt off your back. Did I let the house go messy and neglect the cleanliness of our of their eating area sometimes? Yes, but they were always fed. When I enter a deep depression, even cleaning the villa became too much. And yes, mental health is a valid excuse for neglecting your life. As I said a million times, when I do when I videoed Pete's from Kuwait he showed me her nails, and they were fine, or at least looked that way. Elderly cats' nails grow coarser and longer than younger cats. I clipped their nails with Pete's before I left for Kuwait. I didn't know that elderly cats' nails need to be trimmed every two to three weeks, which is why they were so overgrown and Sam's were fine. I got home and... Because on video, her nails were fine, I didn't check them right away. When I did check them and saw them overgrown, I immediately 
made a call to her vet and made the appointment to say I intentionally caused BBJ's pain is defamation and bullshit. Some of you have elder abuse charges and have the nerve to come for me over animal neglect. That isn't even intentional. Before rehoming her, I clearly stated to the liar who took her, I was concerned about the nails and her health and wanted to take her to the vet. She is 21. If I was starving her, how did she live this long? Both my pets always looked extremely happy in all photos and videos. Don't act brand new about this shit. The only scammer is FFG who thinks she will get away with what we, she did in the long term. Again, just wait. Danny DeVito looking freak. Also, you shame our home and you look at where you streamed with cokehead Shannon. There was a literal, literal old towel hanging from the window and you drove high. More hip hypocrisy. Obviously, the cat at 21 is going to have a maraud of health problems. She is 21. If you are a better pet owner, chain smoking, pelican, neck idiot, where is Ollie and your dead dogs? Okay, so one had terminal illnesses that kept you inhumanely alive, like you are doing to BBJ, with the irreversible health issues she has, but what about dog number two? You killed it. You let your Ollie suffer, bitch. Ooh. So zombie supporters need the et to STFU about me being a cat killer when your cult leader literally killed two beyond the messy dry cat food area from having a messy home when I could barely function myself. Mental health shaming is so cool, guys. And for the nails, which is ignorance on my part, I have always loved and cared for my pets, so much so that BBJ lived 21 years. I hope using caps will help your understanding because nothing else does. The only reason that ugly pillowcase stole my cat is to use it in her hate campaign against me and all you morons fell for it. You don't see videos of BBJ. All you see is a shit update picture and of course the vet will find things wrong. She is 21 FFS. I am done letting this stupid platform of vampires and hateful, disgusting weirdos damage my mental health further. Go on, just boozing. Use this rage to feed your kid, you weirdo. And Missy Poo, Messy Poo, you Islamophobic weirdo. You make fun of my abaya, but nice tablecloth you wore in your previous stream with 12 viewers. Enjoy this rage because it's the last you will hear from me. I tried one final time, but I am 100% done. Even the money is not worth it anymore. Sala made bank anyway. His Ramadan, so I don't care about money. Improving my line offline is the only way right now. Oh, gee. Look at this. My pets look so neglected and abused. Miss Messy Poo, your animals look more unkept always than mine ever did, hypocrite. You people are weird and sick, and no matter how messy my life is, or at least I don't take part in hate campaigns, oh really, okay. You are all complicit in poor BBJ having to live her last days with a toxic chain smoker whose man is her brother. Nice. Explains the hills have eyes. Genetics going on. Anyway, I wish my Beezers well, but I have to do this for myself. Okay, so there was BBJ. Hmm. 
Wow. She has said a lot. Oh, she said that. a lot over and over and over. Hey, guess what? BBJ is 21. BBJ has lived a very long life. I can say that. Let me know what you guys all think in the comments. I love you, treasures. And remember, you are all beautiful. See you on the next one. Keep smiling.